Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is the King's Tutor. Okay, if you are just joining us for the first time, kindly click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so you know when new video comes in. This is a platform where we teach all um, uh, manner of calculation courses ranging from accounting, statistics, mathematics, finance. Whatever you are finding it difficult, just um, come to this platform, you will see it. Okay, if it is not there, you can chat us or send an SMS and we will get that video for you. Now, I want to see um, a past question on what we treated the previous time. We saw um, one of the questions on management accounting. It was actually a request from one of our uh, subscribers that said, okay, they wanted um, a video on make or buy decision. Uh, okay. So we saw a video on that. Now I want to say a past question. Now this past question is going from 2013 slash 14 set. That's their final, their past question. Okay. As you can see, this for Inno State University as a 2013 slash 14 set. The said um, the question came out to make or buy decision. Okay. So let's see the question. Now uh, you can see that on your screen there. So um, the question said. Obina Farms makes four components, holes, rigs, brooms, and diggers, for which cost in the forthcoming year are expected to be. You can see there, the holes, rake, diggers, production units are 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, and 2,000. Now, units and variable costs, direct material is given there, direct labor and variable production overhead, everything for the whole sum up to 14. Rakes sum up to 17, diggers sum up to 7, and brooms sum up to 12. Now, also have the total fixed cost per annum. You said the incurred as a direct consequence of making whole 1000, incurred as a direct consequence of making rakes 5000, for diggers 6000, and from bloom 8000. Now we have other fixed cost 30,000, which sum up to give us 50,000. Now we have the next thing said. A contractor has offered to unit of has offered to sell to so the typographical area from that question. Offered to sell unit of whole rates, diggers, and brooms for 12 naira, 21, 10, and 14 naira respectively. Should Obina Farms make or buy the component? So what do we do from here? Now the same thing we did in the previous question. We want to compare and contrast what it will cause them to either um, buy or make so said if making is less um, than buying then we can they can make okay so let's see that so as i said earlier on let's get the products now what are the um product they want to do we said for holes um rigs um diggers and brooms Okay, so now the first thing you should do, let's say the unit cost for buying. Now the unit cost of buying. Now how much did they say they would have bought it from a contractor that I offered to sell to them? Said for holes, it is what? 12. For rates, it is what? 21. Then for digger, it is what? 10. And from broom, it is what? 14. That's the first thing you should do. Okay, so the next one is to also get the unit cost of what? Making. Now, the unit cost of making is the summation of um, the total variable cost. That is in the question there. And if you see from the question they're showing there, the summation gives what? 14. Whereby they added the direct material, direct labor, and variable production overhead. So it gives what? 14. So we have 14 here. For the next one, we have 17, 7, and what? 12. So let's get the difference between them. So the cost of making is higher than the cost of buying homes. So it will give a negative difference as what? 2. So the same thing here. The cost of making is lesser than the cost of buying. So it will give us a what? A positive difference as what? 4. And this one will give us positive difference as three, and this one two. Okay. okay. So the next thing we should do is to get 
write down the production unit, the one who, um, not the quantity they want to get for each. Now, for holes, from the question there, we say it is 1,000, 2,000 for rape, 4,000 for digger, and what? 3,000 for what? Broom. Okay? So I said the next thing you should do, so multiply this cost by the total number of units. So remember, this is negative. So I have a negative 2 times 1,000, plus 4 times 2,000, 3 times 4,000, 2 times what? 3,000. So from this now, it will give us what we call the extra cost. So negative 2 times 1,000 will give us 2,000. 4 times 2,000 will give us what? 8,000. 3 times 4,000 will give us 12,000. And 2 times 3,000 will give us what? 6,000. Okay? So from this now, it means that the extra cost of occur for this is what? Already negative because of uh, the value there. So now if you check in a question, they said the total fixed cost per annum. We have those direct cost that is what incurred for making whole. It is directly towards whole. It is not the other fixed cost. As I said earlier on the other fixed cost is a cost that they will incur either if they are buying or making, they will incur that one. But the one that is a direct consequence of making. So let's less it from this. Lessening it from this, it will is a cost that will be saved if they are buying. So since they would make, let's see how much it will cost. Okay? If it is higher to so give us a negative, it means that they should not make that particular product, but they should buy it from outside. But if it doesn't give us a negative, it means they can go ahead and watch and make such what commodity. So from this now, so we can say here, less, I say fixed cost saved by buying. That is, if they buy, they will not um, incur this fixed cost. So the first one that is said as a direct consequence, the first one from the question there is what? 1,000. The other one is what? 5,000. The other one is 6,000. And the other one is what? 8,000. Okay? From the question. So we have already a negative 2,000 minus 1,000 will give us negative what? 3,000. The next one, 8,000 minus 5,000 will give us what? 3,000 positive. 12,000 minus 6,000 will give us 6,000 positive. Now 6,000 minus 5,000 will give us what? Negative 2,000. Okay? So that is the result. So what is the decision? Because you don't stop there. The essence of all this is to analyze and make a decision, okay, as a management accountant. So what do we do from here? So we said decision, we said the management should make components rake and digger since their cost of making is lesser than when it's purchased from outside. And they should buy component holes and what broom, since their what cost of making is um, higher than when it is what purchased in the market. So they should make rake and digger and buy hole and what broom. So that is the decision. Okay. So if you are joining us for the first time, kindly like, comment, subscribe, share this video, share it to your classmates, your colleagues, so that they get to know about this. Okay. Now comments down below. Tell me the uh, course you would want me to take. Um, this the past question you want me to take. Just send it. I will treat that. Okay. In the next video, we will see the add or drop decision, and also see uh, the internal rate of um, uh, return, um, MPV, payback period, account rate of return, and all that. Okay. Thank you very much.